Oseo. Oseo. Rather continuing with the seminar poetry workshop, typically, again, the uh, prompt that condensed this, you know, what is the most audacious, most elaborative thing that I could collaborate with? In the second piece that I have here, um, particularly inspired uh, by the theme water, actually it came from one of the prompt poems, a line that is, the safest place is water. And I also segued this with another one of the prompt poems which referred to the Yaki Easter ceremony as uh, we know it in Guadalupe. And so I combined these together in this piece. I saw it in a whale's tail, Buddhist sutras, elaborate collaborative fantasies of Buddha, dust motes colliding, atoms in tsunamis of wet crystals, shower the passing away of Hopi, who rise to become rain clouds, to drench cornfields, feathered avatars descending to glorify colored confetti, sanctifying sandaled feet, stamping out holy crosses in desert dust rhythms of ascendant clouds, restorative of all powers, that dip into rivers ever flowing fish current. Wash the sky stone of coyote dancing for that last good drop. Mm. Now we're going on to Mary Oliver <laughs> and her most audacious theme was the leaf. And I have this piece up here. This is Aunt Leaf is the name of her poem, Aunt Leaf. And I have a small here uh, leaf sculpture to go with this. Um, and I'm sure she heard this prompt because totally her poem fits into it. Aunt Leaf. <clears throat> Needing one, I invented her. The great, great aunt, dark as hickory, called shining leaf, or drifting cloud, or the beauty of the night. Dear aunt, I'd call into the leaves, and she'd rise up like an old log in a pool, and whisper in a language only the two of us knew, the word that meant follow. And we'd travel, cheerful as birds, out of the dusty town and into the trees where she would change us both into something quicker to foxes with black feet to snakes green as ribbons to shimmering fish all day we'd travel at day's end she'd lead me back to my own door with the rest of my family who were kind, but solid as wood, and rarely wandered. While she, old twist of feathers and birch bark, would walk in circles wide as rain, and then float back, scattering the rags of twilight on fluttering moth wings. Or she'd slouch from the barn like a gray opossum. Or she'd hang in the milky moonlight, burning like a medallion. This bone dream, this friend I had to have, this old woman made out of leaves, whispering. Mm. <laughs> and I was inspired by that for my shield expression here. Thank you.